Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Stevens Arena, located inside the Janelle Center, as it is Senior Day, where your Angelo State University Rams take on the Western New Mexico Mustangs. Spencer Salazar here on the call with you. Joining me on color today is Allie Cassetti. Allie, how are you doing right now? You know, Vince, I'm a little tired. Good afternoon, everybody. Coming to you here from San Angelo, Texas at Meyer Field. It's going to be the Angelo State University Ram Bells taking on Western New Mexico today in the first game with a doubleheader to finish this series off. Vincent Salazar here on the call with you. And joining me today is Seth Martinez. Seth, how are you doing there, partner? Uh, pretty good. Pretty excited to see if the Bells can kind of do another sweep like they did yesterday. Tonight, joining me tonight is Kane Peavy and Kane. We're in for a good one tonight, my friend. Oh, yeah, sure to be a pleasure here. We've had a slate of good games here today. and so Let's uh, update everybody. The Rams baseball team wins today 10-0 over CSU Pueblo. Ram Bells won the earlier game today against Western. It's a big 12-0 win to win the series. They're trying to go for the sweep now. Ram Bell basketball became Lone Star Conference champions yesterday after defeating Western New Mexico, the Rams lost a heartbreaker, but both will get ready now as they go to the to the Lone Star Conference tournament in Frisco. Who's now got four wide, one man in the backfield. Another run up the middle. And then you definitely notice the Rams have been going to the air a lot more in this drive than on the ground. And do you think that's going to continue throughout this game, or are the Rams going to find a way to switch it up as we move on? Well, what they could be doing, Vince, is uh, the, you know, throwing the ball a lot, considering the area of offense we're used to seeing, Vince. And we'll see how the Rams continue to go up tempo on this drive. Hand off to Stevens. And he's still going. Stevens on the left side. He's right in that corner. One man got him down at about the 10-yard line. What a great read there from Josh. Charlie Rotherham and giving the ball to Josh the Stevens. Strother there on third. They might try again, especially with the speed of Maddie Greenwell. Now for that single by Madison Greenwell in the seventh, ASU may not be in this position. It's gonna be outside for a ball to Greenwell. Karina Rocha had a pretty good game earlier today, had a big homer in that second game against this international squad. Here's the 1-1, where she's going to hit this one right out towards center field. Could have another one, and that one's gone. That's a home run for Karina Rocha, and the Ram Bells are on fire. Rams already have seven turnovers here in the first half. The Bells have taken use of all those turnovers so far, scoring four points off of them. Daniels will pass it off left here to Desiree Hampton. Hampton moves to the inside, shot up and good. Nice, nice pass to Johnson there. Yeah, nice job to find Johnson underneath. But the lead now is 21 to eight. Let it. That rebound sworn with by yellow jerseys. It's gonna be Turner now passing out left to Kirksey. Kirksey making a move inside, gets it off the glass, off the nice floater, and that's gonna help the Rams out. Puts an end to the drought. That was over for 2.34. They will be tracked down by the Rams. Here comes Brown the other way. Leaves it up. And the up right there by Julia Cole Johnson. Oh my gosh, what a big play. My goodness, that's going to lead to an immediate timeout by Western New Mexico. We'll take a quick break. Be back in just a second. Under a minute to go, Western New Mexico now has a chance to take the lead over the Rams. They've gotten extremely loud in here from both sides. Crowd is coming alive, and I guess this really is the best time for them to do so. Because, man, whoever. Oh, oh, a big time goodness. three made there by Van Beacom. 